This is Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb. On Monday, the city of Melbourne, Florida, struck up the local high school band and welcomed dignitaries from far and wide to welcome Embraer to town. The Brazilian plane maker has built a $50 million assembly plant for Phenom 100 and 300 business jets. Fred Corrado, CEO of Embraer, explains its plans for the U.S. facility. Well, I am Fred Corrado. I am the CEO of Embraer. And this is just our new facility. Uh, we're just opening. It's, uh, you know, had just had the ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh, we'll be producing here the Phenom 100 and the Phenom 300. Uh, those are the uh, entry-level jets from our executive jet uh, family. And uh, it's the second assembly line for this product. The first is in Brazil, the second one is right here in the United States. And uh, there are several advantages for that. Uh, this is much closer to our U.S. customers. This is uh, where it's very close also to our supplier base. So uh, most of many of our suppliers, or most of our suppliers, they actually are here in North, in North America. So. Uh, so from Brazil, we'll bring you know, the wings pre-assembled, we'll bring also the fuselage pre-assembled. Uh, as we get all the equipment uh, from our U.S. suppliers, uh, the whole uh, final assembly will be, do, will be done here in Melbourne. Uh, hydraulic, electrical, uh, mechanical, and obviously the whole integration, testing, and uh, obviously delivery for the customers, uh, which also has the, the, the flights. Uh, we're just building a uh, brand new state-of-the-art facility for painting. Uh, so it's going to be an, uh, an airplane made, made in USA. This, uh, the investment here is for up to eight aircraft a month. Uh, initially we'll start uh, with uh, 30 next year. This year we'll deliver one, our first airplane this year. Uh, next year around 30. In 2013 around 60. And uh, as I said, the capacity is up to eight aircraft a month, which is almost like 100 aircraft a year. So depending on market demand, we will respond you know, in our production rate. So the whole investment is for, for that capacity. Once we have this industrial footprint here, this becomes a very important part in our long-term planning. So uh, we have access to land here. This is a great place to be. Melbourne is, uh, you, you have the infrastructure, you have access to very skilled labor. Uh, we've been here in the United States for 32 years. So uh, whilst I do not have any, any firm decision on anything else uh, today, I think it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's great to have the flexibility to also use this footprint to potential growth in the future. So it is, it is up to our ability to find new programs, new markets and invest.